Okay, hello and welcome back to the garage. I did an unboxing video for the um, Navigator. Uh, I've obviously taken it out for a ride, had a little play around with the settings, um, and to be frank, I had a nightmare. So whereas before with the Nav 6, you connected um, the helmet and your phone to the TFT, your helmet and the phone via the second phone pairing function to the navigate na the the Nav 6. You disabled the phone function on the Nav 6, and it pretty much all worked together. This is a different beast. So I tried that. I tried to connect my center headset and my TFT and uh, my mobile phone to the TFT and then using the second pairing function I connected my phone and the center to the navigator uh, again via second mobile phone pairing I even tried the GPS pairing and certain things just wouldn't work like I wouldn't hear music I wouldn't hear phone calls or anything like that so then I tried connecting the headset and the phone just to the navigator, which then meant um, I lost out on some functionality of the TFT uh, and the connected ride app. So basically um, everything was greyed out bar sport and my vehicle uh, and then my app wouldn't update, wouldn't show what status the bike was at. It just said connect the bike all the time. So how I got around that is I connected the phone to the TFT. So my mobile phone is connected to the TFT. I then connected my mobile phone and my Senna directly to the navigator. As you can see, um, connections or connectivity hub um, mobile phone and send it SRL so I'll just pair the or connect the SRL and you should see it go through its connection and you notice it's connected to the navigator but it's not connected to the uh, nav, uh, sorry, the TFT. Uh, and the reason for this is if I connect the headset to the TFT as well, I won't get phone function or music. So I found this really strange uh, that I lost. Basically, I had to choose between either the TFT or the navigator. It didn't seamlessly integrate together. Uh, contacted BMW, there's no instructions available for the navigator. It comes as described with our little card, which just tells you how to take the battery out and fit the SIM card. Um, I'm currently 4G, switched off the Wi-Fi to see if that had anything to do with it. There's no other gimmicks that you can fit or um, search for so there's only the passenger helmet which i'll do shortly um, but with this setup i'm able to navigate use media and use the phone no issues um, now some will say oh yeah just leave it connected to the to the nav um, don't need to use a tft um, well it's a big waste of money then for the tft you may as well just have simple speedo dial um, because I can't see the point of that um, and what happens is and I'll bring up the connected ride app on my phone so you can see so I'm in my connected ride app as we speak and you'll see it says on the top S1000XR connected 
Now, if I was to unpair the phone from the TFT, that would say not connected. So any of these details of like trip, all that sort of stuff, fuel um, would come back saying um, not connected. If I go down to connectivity hub, uh, it doesn't show the nav navigator in the connectivity hub. You can't connect the navigator to the connectivity hub. So I think that's only purely for the cradle. Um, so I couldn't understand what the point of the, you know, having that functionality on the app, being able to link to the bike and not being able to use it. So until I see instructions, my workaround is to connect the nav, uh, connect the phone to the TFT only, and then the phone and the helmet to the to the um, nav, which means that on the TFT, media and telephone are greyed out. You can't use them on the TFT. You can only use it on the nav. So if I show you um, the different functions on the TFT, oh sorry, the nav. So we go up to navigation, use the jog wheel, and it brings up the um, sat nav. Um, you've got obviously start, uh, spot marker, switch to volume, and settings, click on start. You can enter an address manually. Um, so there's some of the locations I went yesterday. Um, you can click, finger click, stationary, type in an address, really quite easy. Come back out. Uh, you can have favorites, recent destinations, point of interest and routes. Point of interest, really good. Um, you can search for stuff that's near where you are. Um, and again, this is all done through the 4G of the device rather than through your mobile phone. Routes are routes that I've got saved via the app. Um, so if again, if I bring up the Connected Ride app, on the screen if I go down to rides um, this page which is the, the rides that I can import you can see they're pretty much identical Buffalo House Sunny Bridge to Finish Birthday Ride so on and so forth so that all pairs well uh, and integrates well however what doesn't integrate so well is if i put a ride on the, the nav so let's go let's, let's put a recent destination in uh, clandavery owls cafe all right um set go now I've chosen fastest preference. I can zoom straight out, you know, all the way, look at it. I can zoom in to get a perspective. Um, I can then use a menu for active roof guidance. Get information like destination information, new waypoint, alternative route, uh, and change route guidance. Um, I can stop it, spot marker, which is like a favorite thing, switch to volume, it doesn't work with my headset. If I click on it, it doesn't do anything. I'm repeating instructions. And in settings. So if I go into settings, map settings are the um, different styles of perspectives. Navigation settings are the root criteria. And then this little thing here at the bottom, 
was instructions pop-ups so I got it set for navigator you can either have it on navigator or TFT I selected TFT yesterday I rode round and it never popped up on the TFT um, just wouldn't uh, pop up on the TFT for any like left or right or junctions or anything like that um, so if I go to TFT um, now so I'll come out scroll down you don't have to come out but if I scroll down I'm in TFT now if I click to nav bear in mind I've got um, the route in the navigator Ac active route guidance is grayed out so it doesn't show on the TFT there's no link in between the two so the navigator doesn't link with the TFT so I can't see what the the TFT is oh sorry what the navigator is displaying so if I come back out so you can see so the route is still there um, but the TFT doesn't show it um, so if I end route, route guidance and go back to the TFT and go into navigator so I can put a new destination in the navigator so recent destinations Clandovery let's say 20 start route guidance calculating route so now and I can hear in my center behind me I can hear the, the it talking to each other so if I come out of that go up to nav sorry go up to nav go into route guidance nothing nothing comes up at all on the, the nav so I'm quite happy that they're not communicating together there's no link between the two um, so if I come out of the navigator go back to TFT go into navigation and navigation I'm back to uh, normal setup of nothing on the on the TFT and everything on the nav. So if I scroll down to music, so I'm currently playing no music. Um, if I go to smartphone media or just play, so it does show the music. And if I bring my center SR all over, plays really well, no issues, I can control it. You know, I can access quite a lot of features. For the smartphone media which is better than the tft to be fair the tft would never allow me to go into playlists and show all my music as this is pretty much doing you know i can well there you go it's allowing me to show put all my music that i've got on the system in there it may take a while to download but this all on there so that's pretty good so it works well phone so again I will call list that we recently called Should be able to come through the helmet. Let 
Yep, so I don't need to connect because I know it works. So that works well. The information on the bike, so tilt and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, it works really well, can't fault it. Oh, now he's ringing back. You right, mate? No, just testing the bike. Oh, never mind. Catch you later. Bye. So onboard computer works really well um, for all those little bits, but you can't pick individual tiles. You can deselect tiles. Um, so you can reset, but you can um, you know pick individual tiles. As in, if I only want two showing up, I can have two. Um, but you can't like um, do what you did on the nav. Um, so that's that's the functions on there. So it's it's either or. It's not integrated. It's either you do it all from the nav, or you forget the nav and you do it all from the TFT. Um, I don't know if it's going to change, if they release updates or the in instructions and I'm not connecting it right. Um, but I've tried everything. I've tried all the different ways of connecting my center and that to it um, and so on and so forth. And it just, yeah, that's, this is the best configuration I can get to have the map function or have the app function in. So it's updating the app with the bike and then the uh, functionality of the nav with the um, other bits and pieces that I've described. So one good feature um, is um, so you can do route planning and you can do route planning off your phone. Uh, so I'll bring up my phone again so you can see the connected ride app. So connected ride app is on, it's connected to the bike, but say, for example, I'm not connected to the bike, I'm in the bed, in the bedroom, um, in the house, planning a route ride to ride tomorrow. So I scroll up to, um, or scroll up, I press the map button and say, let's type in, I want to go to uh, Bilf Wells, right? So I want to choose winding road, medium winding. I want to avoid tolls, avoid ferries. Job done. Okay, so I select go. Start driving on Highbury Crescent, the then route. turn right. So you can see, um, because I'm connected to the bike, well, I shouldn't really be connected to the bike, it's come up on the TFT. Um, but just imagine we're not connected to the bike. So it, in order to um, save this, I click on the save button, uh, the, the pen button, and then I click on the save button. I call it Puff Wells Ride tomorrow. Save it. Route has been saved. And if I check my um, my imported routes, you'll see it there, Bridgend, Biffwells. Okay, so if I then come in the morning, um, I've got my phone in my pocket. So, phone in my pocket. I come to the bike. So I'll turn the bike off for this. I'm going to wait 24 seconds, so turn the bike on. Bike comes on. I have a flat battery, but... 
I'll put it on trickle charge. Um, everything will connect up. Phone's connected up to the TFT. And if I scroll through the nav, it should, yeah, it's all connected. So I scroll up to nav. Um, and then I go across to start, go down to roots. I give it time. Buff Wells ride tomorrow is up on there. I click on it, calculate route, start route. Straight away sending information to the center, and that's it. I think that function is brilliant. I think the ability to wirelessly send um, route planning to the bike, I think that's spot on. Um, what I don't like is this non integration with the TFT. Um, yeah, it, it just, for whatever reason, I, I've, I've not connected it up right, or it's going to have to be a software update for the TFT, um, but because officially I was told that the navigator wasn't to be released until at least November and the press releases that, that I've seen on Google. So whether it's, they just haven't done anything yet um, which means that if it does need updating I'll have to take the bike to BMW it'll need sitting in the garage overnight it, they'll end up charging me because no doubt they, they always do when you go for a, a TFT update unless you say there's something wrong with it um, but yeah it is a bit frustrating you've got a beautiful TFT display and you know, it, it, it just doesn't sync well. So, I've got another helmet, which is my separator, my center separator, uh, separator, uh, showy Neotech. I'm gonna connect the showy Neotech to the passenger to see what functionality we get with the passenger via the nav, see if what happens when we make calls and all that sort of stuff um so if i go into the nav i go down to connectivity hub connect new device i go down to passenger helmet now i've got to go into settings in the helmet so long press and it should cycle through the different modes And I don't need into comparing because I'm not pairing the two helmets together. Menu. Configuration menu. Phone pairing. Phone pairing. So if I click on here. Okay, so I've connected both helmets, as you can see in there. One SRL, two SRLs, and my GoPro. GoPro, my uh, Pro Max. So if I scroll to music, what's playing? That's playing. Sweet. So I shall make a phone call. See which one it comes through. Call list. Yep, that's only coming through the riders. Oh. Okay, it's coming through both now. So there's a function on here. 
to add a passenger into the call. Now that's very clever, I like that. Not that I ride with a pillion very often, but I think that's a good idea. I think that's really good. Um, so yeah, so adding a second helmet is really easy. You just pair it to the nav and it does really well. Um, which is, is good because you could pair a phone to the second helmet via second phone and if the passenger wanted to listen to their own music um, or make their own calls they could do so without interfering with the drive uh, the rider in any way shape or form so that's a little rundown of what it, I'm working with when it comes to and how I've set up the bike in relation to Goodbye. Um, not having any, any instructions and what features it gives me with a setup that I've got. Um, so that's my helmet paired and my phone paired to the navigator, my phone paired to the TFT and that way I get the connected ride app working on my phone and the navigator working and I can choose between navigating via the TFT and nav navigating via the nav but they both don't cross link with each other um, phone and music works perfectly well so I'm not bothered about them being greyed out on the TFT um, I think the navigator is in a better position to see while you're riding so I got no issue with that and as you've seen adding a second helmet and the functionality you get with a second helmet is really good um, hopefully I'll be able to test work and weather permitting uh, see what happens when I'm out on the ride um, that navigation function of pop-ups on the TFT I want to see how that works um, that would be interesting and how it just all integrates while being out on, on the bike in that setup. I'm no expert. If you have a better solution for me or you've got instructions or inside knowledge of how it should be done to get better functionality, then let me know. Um, I'm willing always to take advice. I think um, it's a lot easier process than the old Nav6. Um, not as easy as a cradle, the cradle integrated better um, with the TFT. But yeah, um, yeah, let me know what you think uh, and hopefully um, you like what you see. Um, at the moment, I'm more impressed with it than disappointed with it, but there are things that could be better, like they could add weather to it. Um, and other functions, live functions that you know the app has, but isn't shown on on the navigator. Um, so yeah, um, I think watch this space from BMW. I think there'll be a lot of updates. Same with the app um, when it first come out. But yeah, let me know what you think. Hope uh, you find this useful.